ignition engine start. We have main engine start. Four, three, two, one, zero. The Apollo 11 mission, landing the first man on the moon, is only one example for the importance of metadata. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and I make videos on business process automation. The Apollo 11 mission took place in 1969 and is one iconic milestone for mankind in recent history. No wonder that there is still a huge interest in this mission to this day. One problem for today's researchers is that many of the necessary metadata for documents of this mission have been lost or have never been recorded in the first place. So what have we learned from that? What are best practices to adopt for today's organizations concerning documents and their metadata? Documents are all over the place. We receive emails or even paper documents. We work on new concepts and create Word documents. Every photo, sound file or video is a document. Books are documents. Title and author are printed on the cover of a book. That's how important metadata are. Metadata serve two purposes. We are using them to find documents and to understand the context of documents. What are the principles when dealing with metadata? I'll tell you my principles that I had to learn over the years. First, record metadata as early as possible. As time passes, you may forget about the context or important details, so it's best to act as soon as possible. The question is how to achieve this. It is good to have procedures and tools to support metadata capture. Furthermore, the organization should encourage metadata capture. Second, use automation wherever possible. The best example here is the capture of geolocation for photographs. You should always turn this on in all your cameras. Automatic extraction of keywords from text documents is another example. Third, never delete any context of documents. This is something I had to learn the hard way. During many years, I stored important documents that I received by email in a folder structure on my hard drive. And I had a policy of deleting old emails automatically. This was a bad idea because I then lost some important context information for my documents. There are cases where you remember that someone sent you a file on a certain topic. So you can search through your emails using the person's name. As long as you don't have a severe storage space problem, don't delete old emails. Fourth, use open metadata standards. With the notion of long-term archival in mind, avoid the use of tools with proprietary formats. Use Dublin Core metadata for all documents and perhaps additional domain-specific metadata for special documents. I'll come back to Dublin Core in the next video. Do you agree with my principles? Do you have anything to add? Leave a comment if you like. See you in the next video.